Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign. Not playing as Italy, but playing as a certain thick empire. So, like normal, here are some custom game rules. Nothing's different, except we're going to make sure we leave historical AI focuses off. So, mods I'm using. The Great War Redux mod, beta, currently, at the time of this recording. Stage transfer tool mod, player list, peak conferences, colored buttons, and colored events. And that is all five of the mods that we are using right now, to be honest with you. <clears throat> I've never played as Russia before in this mod, so it would be kind of interesting to see what happens. I am looking here, though. See, there's we only three research slots. I know that for a fact. Oh, oh god, that takes so long to get to. National entrepreneurship. But let's go with resist the Duma. In the event of a political crisis, Nicholas II won't advocate. However, the revolutionaries will do everything to overthrow the monarchy. I can't read this, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Crisis of the state Duma. Let's see what happens. I... Truth be told, I have no idea what's going to happen. We're going to use you as garrisons, so we're going to train two of you. And then you guys are going to be good old infantry boys, so we're going to make sure we get you, like, 12 of those. Good. And bueno. Cool. High, low, that's good. And we have some civilian factories that we could build. 70% is looking pretty good around here. 50, there's a lot of 50%, that's not bad. Build loads of this, we got time to spend building ourselves up. I, we have 19 civilian factories, which is great. We only have, like I said, three research slots, which is just really not quite bueno. Land auction, we are currently on numerical excellence. I'm going to wait to do that. I'm going to get a battleship hole first so we can start focusing on that. Like with my Germany campaign, I played as Germany once. I played as Austria-Hungary in this mod. I might as well play as Russia. Let's see. 1910s pre-dreadnought holes. Oh, God. Let me see. Is this garbage? Garbage. 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 I really don't care about these. I'll leave them on, though. You guys, these are exactly the same. What we want... These are all ba level 1 battleships, so they're kind of garbage. This is okay, though. I really like this one. If anything, I was going to make that one... Uh, before we move on. This battleship is not great. Yeah. I'd rather make convoys at this point, and then waste stuff like that. There you go. We got some guns. We're going to need some artillery. We definitely going to need some artillery. Let me know in the comments below. Should I use tanks in this campaign? Should we have armored cars? Should we have tanks? Should we not? Because we're going to focus and have an emphasis on fighters and maybe airships, tactical bombers, close air support. I never know which one to choose. Let me ch let me ask you to let me know whether I should use tactical bombers or close air support because I love both, but I definitely lean towards one way. But let me know. What do you think is better? Tactical bombers for Russia or close air support? Let's see. Coast guards. Coast guards. Oh, I spelled guards not correct. Eh, you know, you can be on low. That'd be fine. Uh, we'll, we'll separate things as time goes on. Let's let time go on first. It's May 1st, 1910. Having a good old year. Separate the cavalry away. That's a lot of divisions of cavalry. And now we're left with these guys. Let's see. Give me seven. Give me you two. We're gonna do, I'm going to start splitting them up into very small groups first. Very small. Mostly because I want to have kind of a two-front army. I guess I'm like that. By two-front, I mean, uh, yeah. You guys are going to be, like, all around here. One massive army for this. Uh, you can just be against the Germans, that's fine. I don't think they're going to attack us anytime soon. South Africa Act. The Union is formed. How great. The Persian Campaign of 1909. The Constitutional Revolution took place in Russia last year, transforming the once great kingdom into a semi-colonial state. Russia took advantage of the neighbor's weakness and launched an intervention in the region of Azerbaijan and Armenia to protect Russian citizens in Persia. Now, Russian Cossacks actually controlled Tabriz and put pressure on Persian revolutionaries. We can continue the campaign and force Persia to admit final defeat. Continue the offensive. And support. Yeah, let's do that. Stable economy. So, the economy in the country is slowly stabilizing, which is reflected in the mood of the population. The population doesn't see any threat from our neighbors, so our people are eager to develop a civilian economy with great desire. Due to the fairly calm situation in the world, the war support is declining. Oh, great. Uh, that's a case. I'm going to put all of you guys down here then. And let's see. We can let time go on as well because we want to train so many soldiers. Ooh, Mikhail Nikolai Oruski. Uh, that looks pretty good, honestly. I like that. Nikolai, hello there. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put you in a new theater. Let's see. Let time go on a little bit faster than this. Boom. Boom. I'm doing it like this just because I want to have a mixture of 
regular infantry and mountaineers all in the same group. So, I really don't mind switching them around. You guys do that. Do eight. Now, one, two, three, four. Oh, one, two, three, six. Oh, I can't count. So, if that's the case, give me... And a little bit of lag, that's okay. Right there. We'll do one, two, three, four, five. Boom. Because we're going to need it. I want to say we're going to need an army for Asia. But I don't know that for a fact. And breakthrough, 10% more breakthrough. Thank you. Love it. You guys come up here. I might have divided these guys up just a little bit too much. Let's grab one, two. Right there. One goes right there. And we were bored of conflict already. Resist the Duma. Crisis of the state Duma. Blah. No one expects Russian Revolution. Resist the Duma. Uh, we're going to get 1.78 political power a day, but really 0.78. Resist the Duma. More than 70% stability. More than 75% support for the House of Romanov. Oh. Political actions. Becomes a field marshal. Cool. Lead the troops parade. Popular proto-fascism authority. Unexpected state visit. It's not bad. Gain stability. I like that. Give the speech. Authority. That's good. Bribing parliamentarians. I want more stability. Now, war support. Oh, we just need... Okay, so we need both. We need both. 25. What do we want to do? Actually, do we have anyone that will give us more political power? Staunch monarch. Well, that's zero. I'll, I'll, I'll take you, man. I'll take you on. Editor. Uh, that's not bad. We... Oh, oh, ooh. Mm. I just realized what I read right there. Rasputin, huh? Hmm. Actually, if you guys are going to be fighting... Uh, you guys. Oh, you're, you're, they technically already have a general. That's good. You know what? I'll do that. Who else actually do we have? The cavalry. That's good. Infantry. So we have done that. Let's get some more stability. So, that'll be good. Even though this might have been the wrong... Li the Literally the wrong choice to take so far. Just because uh, this might put us into a civil war. Ah, oh, good, good, good King Ferdinand. We do have quite a few bad national spirits. Outdated railways, not very good. Strike movement, very not good. Threat of revolution is very bad. Uh, Agarian Empire, not good. Japan, Korea, Annexation Treaty. Tsush Tsushima, Humiliation, which was terrible. And then Defender of Orthodoxy. Good. I will grab more political power first, since we do have a ways, quite a ways to wait. So, you guys... Go be led by Cavalry Guy, go ahead and be led by Sergei, and go ahead and be led by Dimitri. And these are all these guys over here, I think, right? Nope. They're all down here. Alright, that's fine with me. Are we winning? Are you winning, son? Cool. I don't want to really put them too much above anyone else. Hey, at least we get some more army XP. That's nice. That's really good. You guys, your turn. What should we give these guys? We shall give them... A heavy ship hole and early, early machine tools. Pieta, Rat, Rangel. Oh, I've never heard, seen of you before. Never heard of you before. Uh, let's give it to this dude. I'm trying to avoid all the people who are old guards or... Yeah, old guards. I really don't like those guys. They don't like to learn. They don't like to learn new things. I'll give you this guy, too. There you go. You guys... Yeah, no. Do that. Give me half of you guys. Come there, and then you guys come there. Very good. Now, we have another full army here. Let's take a look at these cavalry divisions. 12 combat width. Uh, I'm thinking we, we could do some Cossacks. Some really thick Cossacks. I think it'd be kind of fun. Grab that. Go ahead and come back over here. Grab some of that because that's very tasty. Alright, so you guys. Come over here. Train. That's good. You're going to be very offensive. Oh, there we go. We immediately have to grab some more political power because we're going to need that for where we're going. Now we get at least one a day, which is nice. We will do this one first. Ex unexpectedly visit the Duma session, which will be important. Even if, we, even if we do all this, we still might not have enough. That seems like a really bad idea I chose. Oh, well. Let's see. League of Slavic People. We leave the Entente. We probably don't want to do that yet. Ban the trade unions. We'll do that eventually. Requires both. We're, we're going to wait on that. So, there's nothing else I can do for that. So, 20 years of peace. Yes. Some more stability. Bonus to other stuff. Yes. Bonus to industry. Yeah. How's this battle going? We're winning. Yay, we're winning. Yay, we feel good about ourselves. Yay. Wow. Oh, my God. Hmm. We're not really in a position to have a good 
war. But how much core population do we have? We got construction. 161 million. That's a lot of people. Let's go and grab that, just so that we can get some more stability at the same time. Thank you. And now we shall grab... Mm, motorized would be good. We don't have the industry to support that. I've already done technical excellence. I've done superior firepower. I guess it's time to do numerical excellence. More leg breakthrough. More cavalry breakthrough. Soft attack. Organization. Now, it's not like regular Hoi 4 vanilla where this is basically supposed to be mass assault. This actually gives your literal divisions uh, bonuses. Because for mass assault, they don't give you direct bonuses sometimes in some of these researches. Front organization isn't bad. Mass mobilization is kind of like uh, mass assault. Well, 5% more population. More recovery rates. 25% soft attack. That's not bad. Organization. I do think this might be a little better, the front organization. You get 5% less manpower, you don't get any more manpower at all. But you get a lot more, so we're going to go with Cavalry Raids. Yes, please. Thank you. Please, guys, keep winning. Win. No, 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 don't lose. They're just Persians. They're just men. Hey, look, he's becoming a trickster, a commando, a hills fighter, infantry leader. Yes, please. 28% stability. Revolution in Portugal. And we will talk about that a little bit later on. But if you have a good name for an intelligence agency for me, for us, playing as Russia... Let me know in the comments below. Lead the troops. Uh, stability, authoritarity, uh, proto fat. Let's do that one first, just because we want to get rid of proto fascism as fast as possible. So that'd be kind of nice. Yeah, I, I kind of doubt we'll get up to seventy percent stability. This is probably going to turn into a really bad thing. But you know what? We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, you know what? For funsies, let's get great ship battle, great battleship hull as well, because that sounds like fun. Sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, and we have that, which is nice. We said that... Yeah, we have nine ships. Please don't crash the game. Oh, yeah. I've, I've played the game before. Not this game in particular, but... uh, Not this campaign. Oh, my God. These all suck. Let's use this one, though. Uh, where are you guys? But uh, sometimes when you click on some of these pre-made navies, the game would crash. So I'm always a little apprehensive to touch these navies. Especially when we've got so many battleships. Oh, Tolstoy died. The great Russian writer, philosopher, and religious thinker Tolstoy died at the age of 82. His works include Anna Karenina, an epic war and peace are recognized as masterpieces of world literature. With his death, an entire era of Russian literature is leaving, which had a significant impact on the development of humanism and the genre of realism in Europe. Despite the conflict with the Russian Orthodox Church, Leev will be buried with all honors as one of the greatest writers in the past, of the past and present centuries. All of Russia mourns. Russia puts forward an ultimatum. Russian troops defeat the Persian forces and immediately put forward their demands of the Persian government. They demand to immediately stop the opposition of Russian citizens, or oppression of Russian citizens, and guarantee the security of expeditionary forces that will pass through the northern cities of Persia. Nice. War support. Land auction. Clams on Gila. Tavriz. Nice. I'd say that was successful. Awesome. I would say that was quite successful. You guys will have to deal with you in just a little bit. You know what? I'm going to... Happy guys are going to come back over here. I usually don't like doing it like this. But, you know what? You'll just become infantry. There you go. Thank you. One, two, three, four. Second them off. Let time go on a little bit. Because we got plenty of time to kill before, hopefully, any war breaks out. But you know what? With historical AI off, you never know what could happen. 20 years of peace. Very good. Does anyone here else give me stability at all? Because I'll gladly take more stability, you know? Okay. National entrepreneurship. Stability right there. Construction technologies. Now, while I want... Ooh, there's stability right there, too. Oh, there's even more stability. Ooh. Lots of capital. Well, we have to wait. So, let's go with this first. We get as much stability. So, we get stability and another political advisor, which is kind of nice. Let's go grab this. Oh, yeah. If we can do this again. Oh, heck yeah. Unexpectedly, if I keep showing up, they're gonna expect me to show up, right? I mean, that just that just makes sense. Go in and come. Actually, don't go there. Actually, just in case the Persians want to do something against us, which I doubt, but we might do something to them. Do that. Oh, we got some more time to do this. Black Hundred March for the fascism. Get that one too. I kind of want to go to war with these guys, but we can't since we do have military access and the aftermath of the revolution. So. Uh, yeah. Infrastructure, it's two. Actually, I thought it'd be one here, but that's, that's not bad. That's really not bad, actually. 
1.19 political power a day. The next one we're going to grab is not that one. Bribe parliamentarism. 75% uh, support. We're 59. That's not bad. Authority. Ooh. You know what? This still gives us stability. I'm going to grab more stability if I can. Get you guys trained. You'll be led by the great general Anton Denikin. He's a forester. He's a cavalry officer. He's a media personality. Oh, actually, maybe not. You can always become a ranger later on. Yeah, harsh leader Pieter Krasnov. Just because he's got he's got more attack on you. Go ahead and train as well. While I'm gonna beef up some of these guys, we really gonna need more guns. There you go. Thank you. Cavalry. You know, I did this when I was playing as Germany, but I'm gonna do this now. Just make these guys thick, thick Russian horses. Now we can only make them that big for now. 28 combo with not ideal, but whatever. Ooh, actually, ooh, I made a mistake here. I made a mistake. Population supports government policy. Thanks to the stabilization of the situation inside the country, the population is more loyal to the government and their cultural course, political course. However, this may, t may change, and therefore the opposition hopes that at some point we will make a mistake in order to discredit the country's leadership. Sounds like normal. Uh, let's, let's support it again. Let's go visit every single day. Every month, we make an unexpected visit to the capital. Absolutely. Uh, and you guys, I forgot about you guys. We need to talk about you, 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 you. Everyone come to Lithuania, Baltic states. They will forever be under Russia, as well as Finland. What is Finland? I don't know. I've never heard of Finland. I've heard of Russian territory, but not Finland. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, disperse industry uno. Good. We're going to grab next. That's still way too ahead of time. Better artillery? Sure, why not? Why not? And these guys will all be led by someone else. We'll see what happens. We're going to have to guard the... Black sea. This is the Black sea. Oh, good. I wonder when that was going to pop up again. Let's go ahead and finish these off real quick. You never know, the Turks might attack too, so... we got to be prepared for that before we do our next focus. Boom. 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 You never know what they might end up doing. Uh, I can't even go up there. Nice! We have, we have enough to actually garrison everything. Thank you. Uh, you know what? You can have old guard dude here. So, next up. Ooh, which one do we want to do here? I'm not really sure. German capital. German capital. A machine assisted... Machine Building Association. It's good. Build, build, build. Now, this is on a historical, but we gotta do this first. Leave the troops parade. That's okay. Give a speech. Yes. I love that one. 64% stability. Very nice. 63% Russian people. We actually might accomplish this. Maybe not, though. Oh, that does not look good. Maybe if we ban a certain political party, that might raise up stuff. If we ban democracy and communism... That might work. Revolution in Mexico. Unpleasant news. Very good. Hmm. That's going to hurt stability. So that really wouldn't help. Yeah. As much as I want to get more stability, we're going to get that probably eventually. Let's go ahead and grab this. Because we really need to get more support for this. Great battleship hull. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Motorized. Hmm. We might run out of time here. We might. We get 2% more, which is good. 4% more in total. X is up to 67%. And we also have you who are who should be supporting our efforts every single day. So that is good as well. Democratic performer, no. We might get Boris eventually too. Uh, stability infrastructure. Stability proto-fascism, no. We don't want to do that. I don't mind. Actually, this would not be too bad to get. Get even more stability for now. Maybe getting more authority, if that means we also get more of this. That's not bad. Sorry. Hmm. France occupied Paris. This will provoke a crisis. We're at 66%. Not bad. Not bad. Germany is doing Atlantic Shipyard. They're guaranteeing Italy. Italy's guaranteeing them. We don't know what they're going to back to have the Austrians yet. Assert French position in Central Europe. I wonder if they're going to support the Russian Empire or support the UK. You guys, do you have an option of not getting involved, UK? That'd be kind of cool. Support Wilhelm or anti-German policy? Oh. Let's see. Black Hundreds March. That looks pretty good. Give the speech. Lead the troops parade. The Honestly, this is really easy to get more stability. I wish this, was, this this could happen like for every campaign. Just spend a couple, you know, political power points, and boom, you have more stability. Easy. 25 political power for 30 days. I mean, in, th in 30 days. Awesome. Hmm. Now, this is kind of a risk if we take it, but let's see, let's do that. Because we have enough stability for now, which is awesome. Really awesome. 
could get more, even more civilian factories. Plants, plants. I'm thinking. Get some more civilian factories first. That just helps us out. If I do this, you get 2% more authority. Does that mean it's literally just two more? I don't know. We could try it. So right now, we are currently at 68.88%. We have to be at least 70 before this is done. This one's going to give us 2%, so we'll be at 70 already, so we should be at 72 when that is accomplished. And then we'll do some unexpectedly visit the state Duma. More than 75% is so much. Oh, that's, that's really good, too. Ooh. Is it better to get daily or not? Right now, we are at 71%. 71? Is it better? It's better just to do it like this. Or is this the Duma? Maybe I should have spent more time before I did this. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you guys are also here, too. Uh, you guys come over here. It's fine. I might use you as shock troops or just get rid of your army altogether. You know what? You, I like you, but we're going to use the guy with facial hair over here instead. There you go. There you go. Happy New Year. Yeah, 41 days. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get it. We're like 2% short. God dang it. Oh, hold on. We might be able to do it still if we can get some more. Oh, this is going to be ca calling it close. 2%. 2% is usually 4%. Oh, it's going to be close. Will we actually able to do this? Oh, my goodness. Resist the Duma. Can we actually successfully resist the Duma? This has got me kind of worked up right now. Oh, my goodness. I do have a cup of Russian coffee here, but oh, my goodness. Whew. Can the Tsar actually resist the Duma? That is a question. Mm, good Russian coffee. Oh my god, we're 74%. I think we will. I I think we will. Are you guys training just tr to train, or are you... Oh. No, I want you to selectively train, man. Yeah, that's that's much more important. You guys, go ahead and selectively train as well, even though it costs us thousands of guns. It'd still be worth it just because we need army XP and stuff like that. Oh, do we do it? Uh, are we there yet? Oh, we're not there yet? Oh god. Give me one days. We did it! Ah, oh, we did it! We did it. Just do it. Yes. We can call P P Pavel, Pavel, and I do want to get to early mobilization, that'll help out. Ah, uh, design modern locomotive series, good, good, good. I told you we could do it, I knew we could, oh wait, Serbia exists, not in the faction. Oh, we should have done that early on, oh, yeah, we should have done that earlier. That's alright, um, we can't do that, which means not unites the Balkan League. We'll see what happens, we might do that later on. So, maybe I should have done that before. Oh, well. Civilian factories. Upper Volga railway plant. Machu Picchu discovered. Now, what are you going to do to me? There's nothing you can do. I have successfully resisted the doom. That's nothing you can do. Defender of orthodoxy. Good. Bulgarian Empire. Strike movement. Outdated railways. Mm, terrible stuff, my friend. Terrible stuff. We definitely need to work on artillery, though. Oh, yeah, and ships. Aren't these guys training? What? Am I imagining that? I think I might be imagining that. I thought I said these guys are trained. Oh, well, that's okay. Whatever. Yeah, we might need a few more guns. We need a little more artillery pieces. Early fighters are going to be important as well. Uh, yeah. Rich battleship hole. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. It's 1911. Uh, 1911. Whenever I say 1911, I always think of that pistol. Mm. Gotta love them. Let's see. Anything here that's really super important? Planes might be important, but we're actually pretty good on planes right now. This is looking expensive. This, All this stuff is looking really expensive. Russia, do we really need to focus on more manpower with field hospitals? You know what? How about this? I'm going to actually use... Oh, Balkan League, that's cool. League is formed. I'm going to use signal companies in this campaign. I almost never use... You deserved it. Uh, signal companies because, well, I always forget to use them. And by the time I can use them, it's too late. So... I'm going to use signal companies in this campaign. I think that would be a great addition. Or a great difference than what I normally do. Motorize, that will be important too. Let's see. You know what? We'll probably just train these. you probably got nothing there. Nice, nice. Battleship. You know what? I used battleships last time. Let's go with battle cruisers. A little bit less armor. A little bit uh, less supply use, but faster. So, you, right now you get more HP. 
let's just do it for funsies. 1910 ha Heavy Battleship Hole. Aw, yeah. Mona Lisa has been stolen. That's pretty normal. That's pretty. Un that's unfortunately pretty darn normal. You know what? I'm not even going to upgrade these ships or ever use them again, so we can just get rid of those. These can be getting rid of. Yeah, we don't use garbage here. Or at least we try not to. Actually, actually, you know what? I, I made a mistake. I should have been trying to build this up first, then the battleship. I love battleships so much. I really love battleships. No, we don't want that. We want this one. Thank you. Oh my god, that's so much. But, 20 days, we should be able to get it. And there goes everyone. They all hate the Ottomans. Hate them more, hate them more. Germany decided to make peace with neighbors? Proclamation of the German Confederation. Several degrees that expands the powers of the Prime Minister. Whoa. Germany. Oh, what the flip? You went democratic. Now that's different. Now that's ahistorical. Next up, we're going to grab... Ooh, infrastructure. It requires all of the following. God dang, we had to get all the way down there, so there's no point doing that just yet then. If that's the case, we're going to grab military factories. A whole whopping two. Uh, you know what? I'm really gonna... Ooh, I really wanna get Silent Workhorse again. Actually, we don't need you anymore. But, uh... I'm gonna grab this, just because we can use it immediately. League of Slavic People War of the Balkans. Italian Invasion of Libya. Oh, nice! We didn't even have to do that one. Great! Wait, hold on. So, you're telling me... We can just... Oh, they create their own Balkan League. We don't actually lead it ourselves. Oh, that sucks. Uh, whatever. Can I support the Serbs? Can I send you volunteers? Oh, I want to send volunteers. Hmm. I am disappointed. Support the Balkan League. Oh, there we go. The stronger the Balkan League, the, long, the longer this fragile alliance will last. We need to provide the Serbs with armed support to make it easier for them to resist the Turks. Help from Russia? Not our problem. Not our problem, man. Not our problem, dude. Uh, I still want to build up. Let's see, you guys got that extra guy there. Y'all need another horse, dude. Thank a ya. Ooh. Very good. Cruisers. They're more important than battleships right now. Epic fire guns. There you go. There you go. Oh, fire control. God dang it. Fire controls? Oh, there it is. Come on. Please don't research anything before I need to click off of this. God dang it. Every time. Early support weapons. That's fine, though. Oh, and cavalry raids. So that kind of makes support. Cool. Signal companies. I will use you in this campaign. We might as well get that. You never know if we might need that later on. 1914. Go ahead and grab that. That's fine with me. Now we should be able to do this soon enough. Unless something's going to get finished here. Something's, nope, nope. We should be good to do this. Finally, third time's a charm. Third time is hopefully the charm. Light cruisers. Grab some of this. Thank you. Good. And I'm not going to just deploy this as soon as it's like right now because this looks extremely weak and pathetic. I don't like things that are weak and pathetic. Oh, we can expand so much here. And we are good on resources. So, which way is this in the tree? Montenegro is gone. Oh, wow. Tokyo Berlin Pact seems pretty normal. So they must have went with Contain the Kaiser. Constitutional Compromise. Reform the Colonial Management. East Asian Administration. Oh, my God. They're, they're, it's like the, uh, the UK path in base game when they go communist. They're just going to get rid of their colonies. Oh, my God. It's going to make the game lag even harder. Oh my goodness. What? This is a weird world already. Well, at least they're not backstabbing their own one of the few allies, Austria Hungary. At least that is different. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Well, we're almost done. We're almost ready to make this. It's almost 1912, which is fine with me. And China's on fire. Do I can I send can I send people to China? Oh, there's Tanu. Urian Kai or just Tanu Tuva. Stand with do you have a focus tree? They do have a focus tree. Huh. China. Second Chinese Empire. Tula arm Tula. Tula arms. Don't they make firearms or ammo? Uh, not that I would know. Not that I would know. Uh, let's see, ban oh yeah, let's get rid of these stupid strikes. <laughs> strikes? Fifteen percent more stability that we don't need? Aw oh, yeah. So Get rid of that garbage. They don't need rights. And next up, what I'm going to do is probably grab uh, you. Oh, no. We tie an officer selection. Daily army XP gain. I just want army XP gain, man. If there's no difference between these two, there's no point to choose this guy. So, obviously, this guy's going to be better. Nice. 
civilian factories, we got starting on 2.4, 2.3. That's really nice. That's really, really nice. Naval-wise, oh, your ships, my ships kind of hurt. It's probably not a great idea to train battleships, to be frank with you. That's all right. Or use them as exercise boats. That's okay. It is what it is. Oh, we actually have choices here. I love choices. And we'll grab you. I'm actually going to replace you with... I never use mine warfare. I never really saw the point of it. Torpedoes are pretty garbage. But you know what? We can probably still use them anyways. Yeah, come on. Please get up there. Quicker. Faster. Better. Oh, that's going to take forever to get up there since the ships are all damaged. Oh, that's disappointing. Go ahead and remove that. Can we, can, we, can we go up to at least 10, please? 10? Come on. South Pole Reach. Well, the UK does what the UK does best. Explore using their navy. Even though... When I played as Germany, and tried to invade the UK, they never really used their navy that much. That was kind of odd. Let's go grab you. Nice. We can make our horses even thicker. Love it. Military police will come in handy. Actually, well, actually, what are we using for military... Oh, we need more army XP, so we can make... I should have made two duplicate divisions first when we started this campaign. I always forget that. Always forget it. My bad. Garbo. Oi. Resource efficiency gain. Eh, we're doing well in rubber. Because <laughs> we had none. But Happy New Year, my friends. It is 1912. 1912. And you guys are done training, it looks like. Yes? Yes? Actually, how good are these Mountaineer Divisions? Well, they're not great. Could be worse. Oh, and you guys need to train, too. Yes. Thick horses. We need some thick Cossack Divisions here. That coffee's... Delicious, my friends. And let's do ban the trade unions. Ah, they don't need rights. Oh, look at this. Political power becomes known as the Russian Empire gets the Russian Revolution. Establish absolute monarchy. Revolution will begin if the Duma crisis isn't prevented. Oh yeah, but unfortunately that's where we're going to leave today's episode, my friends. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And leave a couple comments below as to the questions I asked you guys earlier. Tactical bombers, close air support. There's probably some other ones that I totally forgot right now. But we should also let me know in the comments below a name for this thick cavalry army. And whether I should use tanks or not. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great rest of your day.